Hi everybody, uh, just today I had a user ask how I could, uh, or how they could make a quick simple rock wall, something like this maybe, uh, with a bit of cuts and definition in it, nothing too special, and figured it might be a good chance to make a quick video on this, so I'll go ahead and do that. So this was the real simple um, first test that I did, just to kind of figure out uh, myself how might be the, uh, one good way to do it. Um, looks alright, it'll work well for you know general prototype uh, work without the, uh, the rock texture on there, it looks kind of like that. So pretty simple. Um, and I'll just delete this and start with a new one so I can uh, go through exactly how I did this in case it helps anybody. So first I just like to start with a cube, always it's simpler for me. You could use the, the plane if you like, but this is generally good for me. And just sort of, let's say it's a smallish rock surface here. I'm going to go ahead and build this up until I have a front face that's about the size that I want. Then I'll just uh, select that face, hit Control shift i to invert the selection backspace to delete all the other faces. So now I just have that face of the size that I want. Um, if you wanted to get specific with that, of course you can use Control shift k and use just a plane or a sprite in here to set the exact size using the, uh, the shape settings here. So either way, for something simple like this, and you're probably going to be changing it quite a bit anyway, uh, it's a semi-organic shape, uh, really doesn't matter the exact size most likely. So we need to add some definition to this, make it look um, kind of broken and, and chopped up like a rock face should be. You could use uh, loops and edges, just go in here and start adding in extra loops. Um, I think maybe an easier way would be just to use the subdivide on it. So select the face and hit Alt-E to subdivide, or of course you can click it over here on the side and start adding in some chunks to break it up. Something like that. Um, so once you have a few in there, then the next step would probably be to grab some random ones and I'm going to extrude them and start building a little bit different geometry. Um, even that right now is probably fine for this at the moment. Next I like to just start collapsing various verts together to build up a bit more of a rock face look here. I'm just drag selecting and hitting Alt C. So I can make these collapse down. Then we'll need to make this look a bit more interesting. We don't want squares, of course. And I'm going to just start moving these verts around, still collapsing a few more together. And we're just going for a real simple, sort of a almost stylized rock look at this point. No need to do anything fancy. And build this around. Just get some detail going here. Collapse a few more edges. Uh, I can start taking some of these edges and moving them out a bit. Adding even a bit more detail. So moving pretty quick on this. I'm not going to spend too much time obviously and make something that's going to work you know, whether just for a quick prototype rock face, um, maybe your final art if you have a real stylized look, most likely not. Um, but it'll get you something and you can fit it right into your game without having to bump around between uh, Blender or Max or Maya, etc. So this is looking uh, not as good as my first version, but that's okay. We'll just stick with it. Do a little more work on it, and then... So basically we're getting a, a, a sort of rock face here. Um, let's weld a couple more. And you could of course take this as far as you like, uh, adding an extra detail, beveling the edges, doing all sorts of fun stuff. But there's basically your, your rock face. Um, make a little bit, look a little bit better. You can use the UV editor if you're using Pro Builder, uh, the full version. Uh, select all the faces, just double click, and then click on Group Selected Faces and the UVs will then uh, all stick together, but still be automatically updated. Uh, another way you could do that, of course, is using the, uh, the planar projection in the manual mode, and that will give you basically the same result, except that now the UVs are uh, essentially uh, anchored there, 
and again in here you could go in with the UVs and edit these directly if you wanted to. Uh, and that would be if you had something that you were specifically unwrapping. Uh, you could use the render UV template and so forth if you had a very uh, specific uh, map you were putting on there. So here, then we can just apply that rock face, and it's pretty good. We have something that would pass. You could pop into your game and have some art going uh, and start building it onto whatever else you might have working. So I can pull this around. And then if I had... Uh, some sort of building on the side here, or who knows what. Oops. You know, I can just really quickly build it into this without having to move around between different tools. And there's sort of a, uh, who knows, a chunk of a hill or a rock sticking out of the side of this map. So pretty simple. I uh, hope that worked. Again, just starting with a simple face, subdivide. Um, looking at this in hindsight, might actually work better to do something where you uh, cut loops and edges across with a bit more, um, just be more random about it. I started with a very um, uniform quad subdivision and it kind of shows in this, um, well, also part laziness, I'm not going very far, um, but you could definitely do better with a bit more, um, just being a bit more random and trying some different methods. I uh, hope that helps and thanks for looking.